Hello, everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new to my channel, welcome to our YouTube group family. Today, we are going to learn that how to create an Asana account for free, how to create project task, how to invite your teammate, assign them tasks, how they will notify, how to set up priority, and many more things in few minutes. So let's get started. Simply search Asana on Google. Enter your company email or sign up with Google. You have both options. So I am signing up with my email. So let's verify our account. So I am opening my Gmail account. If you couldn't find the email in the primary email, please check into the promotions email. Maybe you can find there your verification email. Click on verify your account. Enter your details. I would suggest if you have your own little company use your company name instead of your own name. Use a strong password. Click continue once done. So now here Asana will ask us about our work. Choose from the drop down menu what kind of work do you do. As I work in e-commerce. So I am choosing here product. If you don't know about that you can choose any type of this. It does not matter and will not affect. Click on I am not sure and set up your account on your own. Now we will set up the first project. As I stated I work in e-commerce. So here I am naming new listing to my first project. Here it is asking another question. I am leaving these and continuing the project. I will suggest always go for the list layout as here stated we can change it later too. It is not very difficult. Here is asking for to add some teammates. As this is a dummy account so I am filling it here. If you want for a while you can skip this and can add later your teammates. I will let you know how you can add your team members later. Let's create a new project. I am creating a project for FBA. I am using a blank project so that I can make the setting according to me. Simply name your project. I am creating one more project. You can create as many as you want for free. On the home, you can find all the projects. So let's set up our project. So here is three section is showing. To do. Doing. And done. I am adding some more sections which I required. Simply click on add section and name it. I am creating a template section so that I can do some major tasks as a template. Here is one thing I am missing which is a pending section which can be because of any reason. So I am adding one more section of pending. Simply pick and drop anywhere you want. So till now we have created few projects and added some sections into the project according to need. 
saying let's create few tasks. In the template section, I am creating a dummy new listing template. By clicking on the task it will open. Let's create some subtasks. I am giving names of subtasks according to my requirement. Simply click on add subtask or press enter to create one more subtask. Right click on task and here you can find some actions you can take on this task. So I am duplicating this as I don't want to use this and want to keep it this as it is. So that in the future I can use it again to create a task of such type. So when we duplicate the task the pop-up will appear and it will ask you which things you want to duplicate. And so here I am changing only title name and leaving other things as it is. Click on the duplicate. Click and drag to move it. Here you can assign this task to any one of your team members. When can add the team members by simply inviting them. Put their their email address and hit OK. They will receive an email and by click on it, they can create their account as a team member instead of owning their own company. When you will add you all team members here, you can see you see all team members account to assign them task. You can put special note or instructions in the description box. Here we can set the date to deliver their task. We can set priority of this task. High, medium, low. If your team members could not complete the task in the given time, and could not mark this complete date color will change from green to red. And you can easily note that this task is incomplete. You can assign subtasks to different persons, and can set a due date for each and individual. When a task or subtask is completed, you can click on complete. Please move it to done and mark the whole task to complete. You can copy the link of the task to share with anyone. All the changes you will make can be seen by everyone in your team. You can add the attachments here such as pictures, Excel files, words files, etc. You can add the files in the start too. If you want to share some important files before working on the task. Or you can import your work here. I hope you have understood what I am trying to say. I have imported a random picture to show how it works. Now we will see how your team member will get the notification that he has been assigned a task by you. So for this, I am sharing my official account in which shares a few things. So now I am in office account. Here you can in my task call tasks that have been assigned to me or I have assigned these to myself. 
So when someone will assign you any task you can find it here and in the inbox too as well as you will get a notification on your email address too. So now we are back on our newly created account. Here are a few things which have been missed in this starting. So in the filter and you can put the filter such as just my task and etc. You can sort the setting. So let me tell you that if you make changes here these changes will occur in your account only. Hopefully, you have enjoyed this tutorial. You can ask in the comment box if anything got missed in this, or if you have any issue regarding this. If you liked my content, don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for the latest updates. Thank you for watching.